All right, guys, I got this from one of my subscriptions. Um, D Darko twenty thirteen was talking about this, and I noticed that there was gold inside the cells. It was um, the symbol on the left would hint to that. Um, and so I went back in my mind to think, where else have I seen this? And I did some research on Monsanto a long time ago. I have a beautiful mind. It allows me to see things so clearly. And they have this thing called a gene gun. And this is how they genetically modified our food. Using a gene gun, which basically shoots gold particles coated with a, uh, a trans DNA coating, which will insert itself into the host's genome, into the chromosomes, and it will begin to alter the plant. Well, what happens when you inject this into a human? Well, only conclusion that I can come to is they are trying to genetically modify us, and I think they've been doing this for a while. I don't think this is new. In fact, anytime you see this in an article, for the first time, you know, they put a comma, for the first time, comma, um, more than likely it's not the first time. More than likely this has been going on for decades, if not longer than that. Uh, this is about all I'm going to do on this video because I want you to do your own research um, on this. I don't want to waste my time. The only reason why I'm doing this video is because... Uh, nobody else has made this connection <clears throat> and so I feel like it's my duty to put this out there but at the same time I'm not an Alex Jones I don't like Alex Jones I don't like a lot of people uh, who claim to be about the truth because they aren't they're not offering any solutions they know what the solutions are and they know they've got enough people behind them but they're not offering the solutions because the second they offer these solutions they don't have a job anymore. It's like, why, 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 why cure cancer? Why cure cancer? How many jobs are going to be lost? You know, Alex wants to stay on top. Alex doesn't want us to go away. That's like telling uh, Al Sharpton or, or Jesse Jackson that uh, racism is going to end tomorrow. Oh, hell no. Not if they have anything to do with it. That's where they make their money. It's all about the money. Fuck money. And um, one more thing, it's, it seems to be funny because it's, it's always platinum, gold, and silver that seems to be used for this technology. So I'm thinking that the reason why gold, silver, and platinum has been worth so much throughout time is because they've been doing this for a long time, long, long, long time, ancient times, ancient Egyptian times. Um, I think this has been going on for, for a very long time. Um, I know that's kind of out there. It's kind of hard for some people to believe, but you know the people that built the pyramids were on an intelligence level a hundred times what we've got. Um, and just a thousand years ago, the people were even more intelligent than we are today. I mean, go watch it just from 200 years ago. Go listen to a speech from Thomas Jefferson. I mean, they use language that we don't use today. We have been dumbed down systematically. Uh, uh, genetically, systematically, everything. The food, the water, the air, the vaccines, medicine, you name it. Everything is designed to attack the shit out of us. Um, mentally and physically. It's almost like we're being split into two species. Like uh, like Alex, Alex Jones had mentioned at one time that that was their goal. They wanted us to branch off into two species. Uh, a perfect human on one side and these genetic slave drone uh, docile retards on the other side um, and, and it's working people aren't people aren't paying attention <clears throat> to what's going on I mean like I said go 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 a hunt go, go, go a, couple, a couple hundred years back and and just read any politician speech if we try to hold a conversation with people like Thomas Jefferson or or anybody from just a couple hundred years ago, if we tried to hold a conversation with them, they would look at us like we were retards. Look, 
look at our you know I wanted to do this in another video but you know look look at our music look at our music today and just look at you know music 1500 years ago you know we still have music from 1500 years ago people are still playing music from 1500 years ago on the radio it's called classical music uh, there's no words in it and yet it's so popular because just with instruments it tells a story it could be a love story it could be a hate story it could be uh, jealous lovers ending in a murderous rage story it could be any kind of story and you can hear it you can hear what they're trying to tell you with just instruments and I have to ask is anybody going to be playing Justin Bieber in 1500 years is anybody going to be playing uh, Miley Cyrus in 1500 years uh, no the answer is no are you kidding me? These are fucking, these are, excuse my language, these are just pop-ups, man. Like, like a VH1 pop-up video. These, they're just specs, they're blimps, you know? They're not gonna last. Anything we do today is not gonna last because we have been dumbed down. We have been dumbed down. You gotta accept that. We are systematically destroying the earth and systematically being dumbed down. And you have to ask yourself why. Why are we doing that? And I think you can come to a much more uh, clear and, and um, just just an overall more understanding of what's going on when you think about it like that. It's not, you know, all this sideshows, all these mirrors, all these smokes, uh, smoke screens and fogs and hazes that people want to put themselves through. Step outside for just one minute. Stop focusing on the latest uh, uh conspiracy theory which I mean you know granted you have to see a lot of conspiracy theories to even start waking up but if you're gonna sit there and have a new issue every freaking day of the week for somebody to to occupy their time with then we're never gonna have solutions this is the same problem with the media this is the same problem with movies this is the same problem with video games this is the same problem with tablets and cell phones we're too busy we are too busy focusing on one issue at a time instead of the grand picture. Instead of understanding and realizing that the simple solution to all this madness is taking all of our money out of the bank, throwing it in the streets, and telling them to go screw themselves. It's that simple. But nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear the answers. They just want to be scared to death. For some reason, we live in a culture that just wants to be scared to death all day, every day. They don't want to stand up. They don't want to bind together. They want to be individuals. They want to think that their mind is more superior than somebody else's because they have a little bit of information. When really, you're just the same slave. It irritates the hell out of me. Thanks for listening.